Today is a vault day, meaning we're going to primarily just be running a bunch of vaults. Let's just do three, one, go, and leap into it, literally. Uh, prismatic? Ooh, extra catalyst fragments. Okay, and it is an elixir one. I'm, by the way, not going to be speaking that much, and I also think that we're not going to look through the loot every single time we get back from a vault. Probably just going to add it to a chest and then quickly run the next one in succession. And most of this is probably going to be a montage, except if I find something yeah, that is really, really interesting or good. Ghosts. I don't like ghosts. And they're actually quite tanky. Hello? Ow. Ow. Okay, ghosts are mean. Uh, more, more poison. Oh, that's a powerful... Po wow. Hello. Powerful thing, but also powerful skeleton. Wow. Okay, I've unlocked those now, apparently. They mean business. Oh, hello. Ooh, bounty complete already. Nice. That was pretty fast, actually. Okay. Ghosts are really, really powerful. They hit hard. Tanky. And it appears that I have actually gone ahead and completed the objective, which is awesome. So now I can just focus on looting. Oh, hello. I believe we have a secret room in here. Hello. And say no to living chests. Inky. And another one of these very tough skeletons. Not a fan. Oh, beefy zombie. Ugh, go away. Disgusting. Oh, champion. Hello. Okay. Let's get you. Nice. And mini champion, I'm gonna call those. Okay, maybe not. Oh, oh area. I shall not complain. Oh, yeah, now we get the... I forgot we added fortune on this. Perfect. Ooh, bombing night. Nice. That was a bit of a risky move, but I'm happy I did it. Ooh. That was a bit of a situation. <laughs> I'm not comfortable when I reach below my, uh, my five extra hearts there, not gonna lie. There's so many of you. There's so many of you. That is... That's not even fair. That's... scary and creepy. And there's a lot of you that are powerful. Better not be any behind me. <laughs> Go away. Zombie horde. The fact that I can one-tap a lot of these is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna actually take these crates of... What are these? Yes, apple crate. And the crate of carrots as well. I'm spawning in basically everything, I think. Oh no. Nope. I hate the ghosts. I could be in trouble here. Go away, a lot of you. Oh no. One at a time, one at a time. There's two of you? No. Thank you. I'm doing this just to be safe. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Mm -hmm. Okay, two and a half minutes left. Hopefully I'm not cutting it too close. Thing to be safe, I'm gonna head back. Yep, and I think that that is everything for this vault. I'm ready to go home even though there was one minute and 30 seconds remaining. I'm happy with it. Oh, what was this? Ah, oh, well, we'll never know. Probably a dead end. Okay, 19,000 XP, elixir crate, of course. 166 chests looted and 241 mobs unalived. And it is time for a well-deserved nap. Good night. Oh, and we have an expertise point as well. Now, like I said, I'm not going to do too much looking at the loot. I just want to get in and start running the next vault already. And then take a look at the loot. I'm going to 
going to place you there. Of course, we will go ahead and claim our reward. Place that there for now. And pick another one. Oh, I should have picked this, I suppose. Um, This is pretty decent as well, actually. This is very easy to do, and it is from any sea line, which is pretty important. And uh, repair core as well, can't complain. So we'll plop this down. And actually, I can go ahead and have two active bounties if I just take level three in Bounty Hunter, which means I could take this as well, but I'm going to re-roll it. Oh, mine five black opal ore in the vault. I think that's worth it. We have been starting to get black opal, and that is two black chromatic uh, iron right there. Plus, I can have two uh, bounties now in total running which means i can actually take something that is both uh long term and also current term that nothing is actually called that i'm calling it that deal with it well without any further ado let's head back through again oh wow this is orange oh this is a scavenger hunt Ooh, i'm excited for this i'm very excited for this so what do we have here treasure plus 50 item percent quantity Ooh, i that means i want to loot as many chests as possible okay so Four. Okay, this seems like a fairly easy scavenger hunt. I need to loot ornate chests, living chests, mine ores, and mine coin piles. Okay, I really want to complete that if I possibly can. Oh, creepers are part of this. I don't like that. Any of the scavenger items will actually show up here. I should really, now that I can actually start getting scavenger hunts, I probably should make like a pouch just for scavenger items. That would probably make a lot more sense. Ooh, I got a drowned hide. That is one out of three. Ooh, you're a tough one. Go away. Ooh, that creeper almost exploded. Right in my face, which I would have not enjoyed. So I need that cracked script. Oh, I got it. That, I feel like, is rare as well. <laughs> so now I need... To really focus on ornate, living chest, and ores. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh. Don't do that to me. <laughs> okay, please have the drowned hide that I actually need. That's one, so I just need one more. Please have another. Nope, just the two. Oh, but there's more living chests down here. Oh, this is perfect. This is my first scavenger hunt as well. Oh, and that's a dungeon. I mean, that could have only chests. It could, and there we go, drowned hide. Okay, so that is three drowned hides, one scrap thingy, and now I just need ores and ornate chests. Which, I mean, difficulty is normal, and it's a zombie one. It is ornate chests. Okay. That's really good. Uh, I need empty glass jars. That's one. Okay, yeah, I'm staying here. Uh, you guys are going to be uh, not that tough, actually. Oh, oh, but there's a, a shooter. A shooter, a shooty shooty. Hmm. You do. Ah. Okay, scaring the amount of damage, I guess. And that is the two glass jars. Okay, this might actually be worth it for the for the ornate, but I do need ore stuff. That's a spawner. I don't like that. I don't like it. These dungeons scare me a lot. But they're also really, really good. Uh, I don't want to go down that ladder, but I will go down here just to see. Hello? Yep. Okay, two of you. I can deal with that. Especially because I can do that. That's one of you. I need to go to here. I missed that. Bad meat. Can't find my way around. Okay, and this is a door leading to nowhere. This is how it would have gone down. And there's another spawner in there. Yep. Okay, I think this is fine. I think we're alright. I think we're alright. I think we're alright. I think we're alright. I think that was it. Nope, that's another one in there. I feel, I, I believe these dungeons sometimes has a boss. This feels like a boss room. Oh, okay, at least you're just a champion and you're fairly easy to defeat. And just like that, you're gone. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. And I have a lot of empty jars now. <laughs> Okay, that was this room, uh, dungeon thingy. I think I got everything, actually, which is, like, really, really awesome. We'll go ahead and just trash unneeded items. 
So all I need to get now is those skeleton bone shards. I need to find ores. You know what? I probably should, like, give it the items that I already have just for optimization. There we go. Nice. Not in all place, but that is living chest, which I will not pass up on. Whoa, that's like an extra... Nope, I'm not dealing with that. That was like an extra bad creeper and an extra bad skeleton, which I don't want any of it to do with. There's so many living chests here. Please give me ores of some kind and give me enough of them. Why is it when you're actively searching for something, it's just not there? As soon as you don't need it, probably the next vault when I don't need any ores, it, it, there will be ores everywhere I go. Wait, also there. Okay, ores, please give me what I need. Oh, that's a black opal as well. Nope, nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I did actually get it. Now I just need one more. Oh, that's a bounty complete. That would be the killing things on uh, quest. Nice. No, that's ores. I believe, yep. Oh, wait, might not be many though. Nope, it's just gonna be this. No, wait, underneath maybe? Nope. Nope. False hope. Not false hope. It's one of these rooms where it's mostly ores. This is annoying. Oh dear. Please. Yes. We have two of them. We have two of them. Nice. Oh wow. Oh wow. Hello. Wow, there's a lot of ores here. Basically, I have everything that I need now in order to get out of here. Which I could submit right now, but we have three minutes. So I might as well. Oh no. So I might as well. Oh wow. Yeah, get a bunch of this ore stuff. Especially if we can find the black opal. Yep, right there. That is another bounty complete. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this fault has been so good. Okay, you know what? One minute and 40 seconds? I think I'm happy with that, honestly. I think I'm actually happy with that. 16 <laughs> skeleton bone shards. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I think we're just gonna go home. Yep, and I have no space to actually pick up what I need. Let's throw that away. Nice. Not too bad. And um, for that, we got 20,000 Vault XP, 100 chests looted, and 150 mobs unalived. I guess that's because we did the, uh, what's it called? The, the thingy majingy, the dungeon. Done. We can place that there. I can now, before I do that, all of these things, they cannot be used anymore once they leave the vault. So I can just add them all to this and convert them into Vault Essence instead. Now I can claim both of my rewards. And this time I guess we can take a look at what we actually got from it. Ah, only two inscription pieces. Yeah, that's not a lot. We only have 12 in between those two um, two crystals. But all in all, I think this is actually pretty, we got a lot of Vault gear. We actually even got a mod, uh, a mod box, a bunch of gems again, Dreamstones, nice. Okay, so I think I'm just going to quickly organize this, put this where it is supposed to be and then I will be right back with you actually how are we looking for storage in this thing I'm just go in here and scroll down yeah we are only 75% full ish we got plenty of space look at all the gems this chest might need to get an upgrade soon oh wow hello living affinity and coin affinity plus soul bound in one crystal that's amazing I need to start looking at these more carefully well at least 12 plus 2 is 14 and not two of these are Unfortunately, we need to run a lot more vaults in order to get those inscriptions, I think. We actually got a vault trinket. I didn't even realize that we got a trinket. I don't even know from what. Okay, and I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and identify all of this stuff and quickly go through it. Don't care about the wand. Shield, definitely not that good. Legging, some meh. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. I may have just found the coolest sword I've seen yet. This thing right here. Compared to mine, yeah, this one's a lot better. It's soulbound, first of all. 11 attack damage. Which is not as good as 14. However, if we tend to take a look at the prefix one, that's extra 10 attack damage compared to six. So it's okay. It's only one attack damage more now that I see it. But still, that is pretty decent. Plus it has healing cloud and an empty thingy. I don't know if this means that it will actually go ahead and take the stuff fix that is empty. I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's actually not bad. I will go ahead and just go ahead and add uh, loot three to this maybe un no not gonna add one everything else literally not interested in it so you can go into here oh and there's these three things as well hold on uh, oh. 
Okay, scrap, scrap, but what? That's 38 attack damage. That is not the highest roll, but very, very close to it. I'm definitely keeping this ask. Is there a better texture for it? Nope, I'm, that's how, that's fine. This is actually, wow. I, I know I just got this, but I have to try and roll with it just for one vault. It takes a while between hits and it doesn't have the sweeping effect, but if I run into like bosses or something, that's gonna, that's gonna do some damage. Oh, and we got this. Uh, uh, find silver. Okay, yep, that's instant yes because that's a lot of that. I want to get all of this sorted, so I'm just gonna do this, all the bounties, and that's pretty good. Uh, that pretty good haul. Two black chromatic steel, 36 chromatic steel ingots, some vault gold. All in all, that is very very decent. Definitely was worth it. And 16.5, not good enough unfortunately. Bye bye. And let's do both of these at the same time. Oh wow, that's a lot. Um, can't really tell from here. Let's some shield a wand which i don't care about a blank okay let's just let's take it up let's oh i don't actually have space okay <laughs> Vault Platinum. Okay, didn't expect to get that, but okay. I think that I am out of space for gems. Okay, okay, let's take some that are really, really bad, like this, useless size. Useless size and useless size, and then we can put you in and you in. Like these, don't care about them, just grab them. Just grab, we need to start scrapping more. Okay, a lot of interesting stuff. This is the good stuff. This probably will not matter one bit. And the wand, I already don't care about. It. Yep, nope, yeah, nope. This on the other hand has potential. Ah, technically it has better armor in the implicits, that one. Uh, shield wise, that's. Uh, nope, chest plate that is worse and a higher increased attack damage, but nope, it's less armor, uh, less health as well. I'm not taking it, but because I have that unlocked now, yes, leggings I might actually take if we can go ahead and add something to it. Oh, oh, yes, 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 that is very good compared, very, very good. Cooldown reduction at item quad, yes, that's actually all around a pretty decent upgrade. So that's an instant swap. Let's get these, maybe we get something. Nope, well. Oh. Let's unlock this tricket, tri tricket trinket and see what we get. Maybe it is better than the one we have right now, which increases our lucky hit damage. This is Portable Cat. Grants a dodge chance for incoming projectiles and removes block damage from explosions. Yeah, that seems like an overall decent thing to have. Oh, wait, why did you not swap over? Oh, it's a red and a blue one. Oh. Ooh, I can have both. Okay, that, that's perfect then. So before we continue, I actually want to go ahead and pick up this bounty right here because it has an echo gem. And we only need to kill 23 uh, dweller mobs in the vault. Plus we also get some chromatic iron, which we can't say no to. So I'm definitely going to take that. And then we're going to do a little bit of shopping where we're going to actually buy this infused vault catalyst because it's wealthy, which we already have a catalyst that is wealthy over here. However, this one doesn't actually have any negative modifiers. So we'll grab that and then I'm also going to grab this. It's just some extra chromatic steel ingots. I want it and uh, you can't stop me. <laughs> And you know what? I should probably have, hold on. I should have a dedicated rack primarily for vault catalysts. And I'm going to have it right here. That done, yeah, I, I, I guess that works. And there we go. We can add all of our catalysts onto there. I thought I just want to continue running vaults basically. Oh uh, boy. Okay, so I have everything except for the extra glass. Nearest sand will be in this direction. There we go, easy enough. And uh, there we go. I could go ahead and give it a seal, but I think I'm happy with just the vault picking something for us. So uh -huh. slap that in, equip my chest plate and go ahead and equip my trusty pickaxe. You know, I actually almost just went through the vault without actually picking up my my, uh, my pouches. That could have been bad. All right, so just like before, going through and let's do this. All right, it's an elixir vault and we also have the treasure yet again. Or rather, I should say item rarity. Oh, hello. Okay, Xbox room right off the bat here. I mean, this, uh, this could be good or it could be really bad. We're, we're gonna find out together. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully I'm not gonna die from this, but we'll see. There we go. Just do this. Yes, that was actually successful. Wow, what a what a start. This is just a bunch of ornate chests for us. This is awesome. 
and we have the extra rarity thing that fits perfect with this. <laughs> nope, that was trapped. Okay, that's not ideal now, is it? It is ideal for our bounty, hopefully. Oh yeah, I can try my axe now. <laughs> I do need to try it on something that has a little bit more health though. Oh, like a champion, for example. <laughs> okay, that was... Okay, you, you're actually tough. What? What? I barely... Oh, okay. I barely do any damage with the sword. I'm actually really happy that I have this axe to deal with you because that is a problem. <laughs> I barely do any damage with the sword. Okay, th there we go. That was uh, a bit of a scary encounter. I mean, we are leveling up and vaults are slowly getting more and more difficult, I suppose. We are also past level 25, so I believe new stuff in the vaults might have... Uh, actually unlocked for us, which I don't know what those are, but I'm sure it has happened. I think I got everything actually. So it's time to get out of here. All right, not a bad start. Perfect example for the axe. There we go. Get rid of that guy very easily. Okay, I actually have to. I can no longer one tap these guys, at least not with just normal hitting them. So I guess I got the axe at just the perfect timing. Let's see if I crit. Okay, yeah, I can still crit them if I just jump. Okay, that's good. That was satisfying. I love when they're just connected like that. That makes it so satisfying to loot. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, another champion. And fear the axe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no chance. No chance. Not for you either. <laughs> I think it's actually great to have two... Like two different weapons, one for that does a lot of damage when you need it, and then one for just dealing with the normal stuff. It does take up one more inventory slot though, which I'm not that big of a fan of. Like if I just take it slow, this thing actually recharges fairly quickly, and it's not that bad. Whoa, but for tough situations, the sword is also pretty good. A lot of ornate chests in this in this vault, this is amazing. And I don't have to fear you anymore, because just boop, boop, and you're gone. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time getting some of this chromatic iron because I will need it eventually and I will hate myself for not actually picking it up when I see it. Plus, Vein Miner is going to make this a lot easier. I won't actually go ahead and grab all of it, but I will grab a lot of it. At least the stuff that is easily accessible. Like this huge cluster. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That's good enough for now. Okay, there we go. Now I'm definitely satisfied. Aha, perfect. Experiment for my axe. Nice. Whoa! Oh, ghost. I didn't know ghost was actually part of this. Oh, the healing cloud in this sword actually goes ahead and damages the mobs. Okay, that's a really cool feature. <laughs> Plus it heals me, of course. Okay, this is really satisfying. What's this? Just, <laughs> they're just stuck there and I'm just using the javelin. That's awesome. And a bunch of free chests. And I got both bounties completed as well. Okay. And that's trapped. I'm in a bad situation. Potentially. Even though I don't think they actually spawned in here, so I think I'm actually good. Oh, and that's it. Good. Okay. I wanna go out the way I came in. Ooh, a dungeon, but it is a piglin dungeon. That could be very interesting. Alright, let's see what this is about. Difficulty is normal. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm an exit. I'm an exit if I have to. Uh, mm, can I? I can't hit them from out here, can I? There's another spawn back there, so I can't just like force my way in here. Except that the thorns are doing damage, but yeah, that's... Uh, that was very close to the door the way they spawned though, so I think I'm just gonna pass on that unfortunately. Okay, this is getting a bit greedy of me, but I do want to check one more room before heading back to where I can actually get the lowered stone. I mean, I do have four kiwis, so I can make it with like 40 second delay. Oh boy, I'm out of mana and I can't 
dash up. That's not ideal. One minute and 50 seconds left. Could I just take a quick peek? Probably not worth it, but maybe. I mean, I can. I can greet. I can greet these. I think. I mean, I have kiwis. It's fine. It's fine. If I've learned anything from Iskel, it is that when playing Vault Hunters, one must greet a little bit. But I do think that with less than a minute, I'm going to do this. Jump down. Hit this perfectly, and get the kiwis in my hand just in case. But I should be able to just go down here and yep, plenty of time. Nice. All right, 17,000 XP, 142 mobs unalived, and 146 chests has been looted. Not too bad. As we have three unspent skill points, I'm actually going to go ahead. I think if I can, can I upgrade? I can't upgrade speed just yet. I would love to have speed too. Strength would also be ideal, but I think I'm going to save and upgrade speed to tier four or tier two. Sorry. Also going to go ahead and claim both these bounties and quickly going to sort through some of the stuff that we got. We got a jewel there and another jewel. They're not really that good. I think I'm just gonna yeet. And let's take a look at the important chest. We got a bunch of different jewels. Not too bad. 12 vault diamonds, 12 catalyst fragments, 3 relic boost packs, 2 mod boxes though. I'm saving these for when we actually really do need them. Like when we have more mods unlocked. And 4 pieces of unidentified stuff. I'm really excited about the magnet actually. Uh, I have officially run out of space in my, um, in my thing for uh, gems. Yeah, I need to upgrade that I feel like. I'm going to just make some perfect boots to dice because I think I'm getting a lot of those from when breaking down the jewels. Let's quickly run this. Nope, nothing. And in here we got five inscription pieces, uh, a bunch of silver scrap, a bunch of everything actually. All not, not too bad. And of course, all of this raw chromatic iron. The inscription pieces can be put into here. So now we have 19. So we can actually afford two of these empty inscriptions. Let's identify everything. Let's take a look at the magnet first of all. Let's compare here. So this is only common. Mine is is epic so range is a little bit higher velocity is the same so yeah mine has extra item quantity and trap disarm chance no way it is getting replaced with that don't care about the wand don't care about the shield and the boots are not as good either so bye bye and this just needs to be emptied and added to the storage and let's get our bouncy stuff and that is our first echo jam right here um how do i i guess i can just go ahead and make a bunch of like perfect gems from these things because I don't need that many stacks of each because they can actually be converted back into normal gems so I don't lose anything doing this. I'm only gaining more inventory space. There we go, much better. Also got some scrappy plus boots. I'm not expecting much from this. Uh, yep, that's... Uh, it is better armor, but definitely not as good as the ones that I currently have. Uh, let me re-roll this. Let me re... Oh, that's a rare sort though. Um, complete any vault. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I will take this. It is a mystery axe. I pretty sure those are fairly uh, rare and also a bunch of vault silver and I don't have any more remaining we will have to wait uh, 25 minutes for that so I suppose we just need to make a new crystal really and see what we get so the only thing I don't have are sunflowers or roses that shouldn't be too hard to find somewhere aha perfect so you, you know what I'm just gonna get a bunch because we need like 16 and we have extra and I never need to come back to this look at our base from a distance that's actually not looking too bad I love how it looks with all the farms and such and that is crystal complete and i forgot to open this let's see oh wow that's a lot of stuff well let's get it all and take a closer look a lot of gems a rare plus chest plate i'm excited for that hammer size coin affinity these two are really really good not bad at all now i pretty much ah hold up that's 23.5 that's actually oh boy that's higher attack damage it doesn't have healing cloud but that's like three point uh, 2.5 extra attack damage i guess i'm taking it i guess that's another upgrade i do am losing that from parts damage i'm not dealing that uh, dealing that much with spy and I am using healing cloud, but I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. Now the chest plate, on the other hand, if I actually have the chest plate on to compare, this is a uh, no, not not good enough to be to be upgraded. Now I think I'm actually going to initiate another scavenger hunt here. Let's see what we need. We need a blank seal, and we need some vault essence, and then we need a block of vault meat. How delicious! 
and also a vault diamond. If we have 212 and 161 knowledge essence, hold on. That is 17 knowledge shards. That is almost four knowledge, uh, knowledge stars in total. Wow. Anyway, let's make a seal of the hunter and apply that to our crystal. I guess I should have become level 28 before I actually gone ahead and uh, made this crystal. Then it would have been 28. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let's empty this real quick because that's a lot of soul dust, which we can just throw on the ground and pick up. All right, let's place this down. I think I have everything, My, uh, except for the pouches. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to take these burger pieces. I'm going to make a couple of, of these. Don't know how many I'm actually going to be needing. I just want to get to level 28. I think one more should be able to do it. Yep, because now I have four unspent skill points, and that means I can upgrade speed to tier two. Lovely stuff. Oh, I'm speedy boy. And now we can head through. Okay, cracked script, skeleton bone. So that is ores, coins, wooden chests, and that. Okay, this should be interesting. We also have Luda Stream. Chests cannot be trapped. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, uh boy let's go <laughs> i mean coins right off the bat that's a good start okay i have three of the cracked scripts that is a good start and just got two ripped pages as well and another two ripped pages so i just need one more to complete that and that is the remaining red pages. Perfect, that's one complete. Then I can focus on ores, coin piles, and living chests. And that is one drowned hive down. This is going well so far. Keyword so far. Looks like we got an ore place right here. Oh, and a shooting skeleton. Not happening. Three skeleton wishbones. Come on, give me the stuff that I want. That will be amazing. None yet. This is not looking good. I think the gold ones are pretty rare to get, so that's not filling me with confidence. Oh, there we go. One, sk one skeleton wishbone acquired. And I suppose I can do that. Come on, wishbones, where you at? And nope, that's a ribcage. Okay. Well, that was that from that. I still need two of those. Let's actually hand in the stuff that I do have, which currently is only the ripped pages. I don't have anything else. Not completed anyway. Got the final cracked script. Put you in there. And now it's just drowned hide and the wishbone remaining. Unless it's living chest or an ore thingy, I don't think I'm going to go for it. Oh dear. This is a paint room. And this is, oh boy. Oh, okay. Potential living chests. I need to get this. I have two drowned hide. I need two more. Uh, hmm. Okay, I think that can be awesome. That and these can potentially have. I mean, this too. Can't really say no to that, can I? Living? Yes, please have what I need. That's one, that's two. Beautiful. We have four drowned hides in total. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, yep, these are ores. So that is potentially getting us the skeleton wishbones, taking these drops of paint. Or whatever they're supposed to be. That's another skeleton rib cage. Why? Okay, I actually don't see any more paint. Um, only these, which are ornate. Uh, do need to take it. Final one. Yep. I guess that's a cue that it is a no. I just want to get these done and then after that loot a bunch. I really just need to find a room that is focused on ores, which this unfortunately is not. Okay, I can put in the round hide. Now I just need two more skeleton bones, which is probably going to be the most difficult to get. But I have 10 minutes, so we'll see what happens. Actually, this is an ore room. That's a lot of ores down here, actually. Oh no. Are you kidding me? I. Uh can't get out. Just clearing the room first of all. Now can I please... Oh, bounty complete. Okay, perfect. But can I please get the stuff that I need? That's a wishbone. Yep, just need one more. If I can get that here, that is going to be absolutely brilliant. I also need to... Yep. Got it. Got it. That's it. 
I mean, I'm still going to take the remaining of doors, but as I was going to say, I do need to be careful of my pickaxe's durability. Uh, I do have repair course back home, so may need to do that on this one. But okay, so that means I could actually just focus on normal looting. <laughs> now I'm getting all the witch bones. I have six in total now. And there are more ores up here, and I can actually do that here. So I'm going to tie you to this spot, and then just get some more ores now that I'm here. Probably until my pickaxe breaks, or never mind, we're going into a dungeon. I definitely need to craft a pouch for all of these like scavenger items, because they are really filling up my inventory now. Got a topium, got a five seniums. Worth it. Worth it. I'm so happy I picked a uh, scavenger hunt for this. Okay, time with seven minutes remaining. It, nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... I... no, that's not happening. I'm sorry. Not happening. I'm not dying for this. Not with this much good stuff on me. Two minutes remaining, you know... I could check another room. Might as well, right? This will probably end up costing me dearly one day. But we came here to loot, and loot we shall. And another one of these in here. There's like almost one in every single room. I just need to remember that I have to go up at like 50 seconds or so. Okay, 50 seconds remaining. Um, <laughs> where was I going again? I think up, right? Oh boy, please let it be right. Uh, yes it is. Beautiful, that was that. Not too bad of a run. Pretty good, actually. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. 2200 volt XP. I will not complain. As per usual, let's drop all of the stuff in here that we don't need anymore. Then take a quick nap, claim our bounty. Okay, so before we do anything else, I should be able to use this repair core. Yep, to fully heal up my pickaxe. Perfect. I don't want to forget that and then run in a vault with it uh, completely destroyed. Let's go ahead and grab our bounty right real quick. Right real quick. That that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Let's get this first, just because I really want to see what we get. Looks like we got some rare plus... Uh, let's just pick it up per usual. A bit of lemon. That's not bad. Four vault platinum. That's a lot of gold. So that's good. A bunch of eternal souls. Again, some jewels of which... There are some okay ones, actually. Hold up. We have 75 sweet kiwis in there. How many lemons? Okay, only two. But still, wow. This chest plate is actually better. Also, it gives us more mana which I'm a big fan of. Plus one to level of group heal. Don't really care for that. I assume group heal is for like multiplayer. I'm not playing that. Healing efficiency is good. Okay, hold on. First of all, that sword is mad. Don't care about the wand and this. Wow, nether damage, illiterate damage. Not bad, but still don't care for it. Sorry. <laughs> this chest plate, however, um, I want to add that. That's and that's really good mana regen, actually. However, I want to change the prefixes. So let's roll this until we get something good. That's actually extra armor and increased attack damage, but I want the health. I really, really do want the health. Oh wow, perfect. Uh, extra item rarity, increased attack damage, plus five health. This is a huge upgrade to what we currently have. Damage 35 and damage even goes up with it, of course. Health goes up, defense goes up, mana goes up. That's an overall huge upgrade. I do think, however, I do think I want to change it to uh, to, to this thing, Shadow King Chestplate. I think it looks really, really cool. I love the texture. And this last unspent skill point, I think I'm going to use it in upgrading heal just so we can heal a little bit more efficiently. All right, let's see what we got in here. That's a lot of rare plus stuff. Six relic booster packs, a bunch of vault diamonds, even more gems again. Finally, we got the senium though. 77 vault essence as well, which of course can be turned into this. So that means we officially now can in theory make uh, four knowledge stars. All right, let's see if we get anything. Oh, we got one. I don't think I have this one. It is a warrior charm and it is part of the warrior relic, which I don't think. Yep, that's a new one. Don't have that one yet. But I guess let's go ahead and identify all of this stuff. Uh, okay, th this helmet is um, only scrappy. However, it is plus nine health and 10 armor. So it's, it's actually better than the one that I currently have. That's an upgrade. <laughs> 
that, that's a straight up upgrade. Leggings, uh, not as good. Boots, also not as good. Nor is the shield. Oh, that sword looks awesome. The skin anyway. Not as good in attack damage, but we do have extra undead damage. Also, it looks really cool. But I'm sticking to the one that I think... Mm, am I though? Extra undead damage. That's like half or 70% of the mobs that we're fighting. Skeletons and zombies. I might try it. I might try it. I'm gonna put uh, this one on here and I might try this. X also me. And in the blue one, we have five more inscription pieces that the rest I'll just uh, put in there uh, off camera. However, we can add this to here and we can actually craft four, uh, eight, sixteen. We can actually craft three of these. So let's craft one, two, and three empty inscriptions. And let me explain why I did that. In the last video, I created this vault crystal and I think I did a noopsie. I added three special rooms to this. Ideally, I should have stopped with one of these. So let's say it's the Wild West room. If I did that, I could specifically focus catalysts that are improving the chance of getting gilded chests or let's just say the mushroom uh, room, which gives us living chests. So let's say I then added four of these living catalysts to that crystal, I would only be getting that one mushroom room with living chests but not only that i would double the amount of chests spawning in that one room but with this one now i have to split the time between those three rooms and another thing is we have what is called instability which is currently at 23 percent which means the chance of this crystal breaking when we add another inscription keeps going up and if the crystal breaks we can still use it but we can't add any more inscriptions to it which means we could for example get stuck at a 75% completion only. But we're gonna hope that that doesn't happen. These, that inscription is absolutely horrible. That only adds 13 seconds. <laughs> But it does add a bunch of completion, so I'm gonna have to do that. So that is going to increase the instability. Oh, this could go very bad, but completion is now almost at 50%. So we are getting somewhere, and the time is now at 7 minutes and 45 seconds. My plan is eventually to get this crystal to 100%, so we are not losing any of the loot. And then I'll just have to take the time that is there, say it is 13 minutes, and then split it between those rooms. But for now, it's gonna stay there until we can complete it but guys that is going to be it for this episode we in total looted four vaults and we got a lot of loot from that in fact this colossal chest is actually slowly getting full so an alternate storage solution is probably on the horizon in fact i know that in the next episode my aim will be to unlock a new mod and it's probably going to be pretty big if all goes according to plan but what it is you will have to wait and see to find out so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode and i hope to see you next time until then have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time goodbye thanks for watching